Hi, right, good morning, folks. This is Ben here with PFL Driving School. The question today, is it difficult to learn how to drive a car? Is a question that's been coming a lot. A lot of students have been asking, calling with this. I said, um, why don't we do a video about it? And you and I, we can discuss it later. And let me know on the comment below, was it difficult for you to learn how to drive a car, right? Let me know in the comment below. Now, um, it, it all depends, you know, in general, if you know all the basics for you to learn how to drive a car, all you have to do is just um, apply them. It's just application, right? Driving isn't driving; is just that simple. Knowing what to do and apply the thing that you've learned to drive, make it as easy as possible you can ever think of. Now, the thing that can be difficult is doing those things that you're supposed to do can be difficult for you to master. Let me say it slow. Once you know what to do, learning how to drive a car, it's not difficult. It's easy, ever, right? Now, the thing that you have to do, doing them may be difficult for you to do, but it's not the um, driving within itself. If I don't know if, that, if I'm confusing you guys. Because reason I'm saying that, I've seen there's some student who, who pick it up like this just like schooling there's people just like that they pick it up there's some people it takes them some time to pick it up but that doesn't mean that the process is is is, is difficult to learn right we got difficult stuff to do driving is easy uh, is the easiest thing ever but it all comes down to whom teaching you how to drive is all come down to how the person is receiving does information react upon them? You know what I'm saying? Once we can understand that, it's not that difficult at all. I always tell those people that, believe it or not, it's just processes. You do when, um, when you get in the car, you know all the things they offer you to do while you're getting in the car. Can that be difficult? I don't think so. You come in, and here's what you do. You do this, you do this, you do this, you do that, right? Let me know in the comment below if you agree with me. Now, um, when you're driving, is certain thing that you have to be looking out for, is certain thing that you have to do while you're driving. This not difficult, it may take some time to master it because driving is pragmatic. That's something that we have to be doing on the consist uh, on the consistent um, consistently until we get it. Contrary to a book, I can give you a book tonight. Um, this morning, tell you go read the book tomorrow morning, you're ready to write an essay about that book, right? Driving is different. Contrary to driving, I can give you the car for the entire week. And unless you go for the road test, you still cannot pass the road test. You see what I'm saying? So that's the part of it. But um, driving within itself is not that difficult. At, it's not that difficult at all. If it was that difficult, believe it or not, the road test would have not only been 10 minutes and everybody would have been able to pass it as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do. You see what I'm saying? So um, that question becoming a lot as I to address it. And if you guys have any um, thing that in your mind, any, any doubt, anything that bothering you in your mind, you want me to answer them as well? Just put in the comment below. We got most of our questions coming from, um, um, most of our topic coming from the comment of what you guys want me to do and what you guys want me to cover so we can have it um, going going forward for you, all right? Um, whoever has asked that, whomever has asked, asked that question, let me know if I answer it to your liking. It is not, drive, uh, um, it is not difficult to learn how to drive as long as a, a the person that's showing you how, uh, how to drive, put it in the easiest form ever. One thing also, some people making it very complicated when they just get in the car with you. I don't know if they try to intimidate you, make you seem that it is a hard task to do, all type of extracurricular thing that they're telling you to do. You don't need all these all these jazz, you know what I mean? Keep it as the simplest you can in order for you to get it. The simple you can keep it, the same more you can simplify the process, the better it can be, especially for the person that learning, because many people learning at different space. You see, now for instance, it's a stop sign. What are they said? You have to make two military stop. The first stop is for pedestrian. Once the pedestrian, the second is for traffic. Then after the second one, you continue to roll up until you can see um, full clearance of the blind spot. Then you continue to go. As I'm going over, I'm going to make sure that it's clear on that side. But I come halfway through. So I can clear my turn. And when you make the turn, you check me was in shoulders and you fall to the closest lane that you're supposed to be. Just give you a prime example. Is that hard? No, it may be a lot of talking. Yes, but guess what? 
once you get the basic down, you're gonna deliver accordingly. Now, here's the question now. Once you know what to do, and you're not doing what you're supposed to do, you try to do extra, like I said it earlier, that's when the hard part coming in, right? When you try to do extra, do something else, besides what you're supposed to do, then it comes difficult. Until then, if you're not doing those things, it's as easy as, as possible. It's as easy as possible. We've done it. We've done it on numerous occasions with many students where we tell them, please, you're going to go to your good test, whatever the examiner asking you to do, and a line of what we've done already, this is how you deliver. Just give it a try and see what's going on, right? Just like here, we have an acronym, SMSA, right? Stand for Signal, Mirror, Shoulder, and Accelerate, okay? We're telling you whatever you do contrary that require for you to signal, these are the steps that you do. Now, if you do that, it's not difficult at all. Shall I say what that is? Just remember that you, we're telling you that whenever you're signaling, these are the first step, these are the, whatever you're doing, anything contrary that require for you to signal, these are the first step, these are the first step taking before fully engaged. Once you do that for the word test, passing your word test shouldn't be an issue. Now, you may forget, however, pressure may build in. You know what I mean? You may forget what you do, you may not do it what you're supposed to do, but that doesn't make traffic, that doesn't make driving difficult. I wanted to, um, I wanted to um, cover that for you guys. I want to make sure that I get this question out of the way. Like I said again, oh, guys, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, you can do that. So each time that we drop a video, please, you can be the first one to be notified and hit notif and hit the notification squad. Also, if you know any families and friends that can be benefit from this content, please share with them because giving a person access to get the license here in the U.S., not in the not in, not in, Brooklyn, not in New York, only in the U.S., is one of the is one of the biggest gifts you can give them because one way or another, the uh, the license may change their life. Correct me if I'm wrong. Have you guys ever heard, heard that? A person that applying for a job that has nothing to do with license, guess what they ask him? Are they bare minimum entry level to get that job? A license. Here, here in New York City, in order for you to get a job with border protection, custom border protection at the airport, you must have a license. Certain part of the airport, to work at the airport in general, you must have a license just to show you how license can enhance your life. Do you have gonna do you wanna, do you gonna have to drive while you're working at um at the airport? You may never have to drive. Anything in the airport, you might be working any part that doesn't require for you to drive, but you do have you do need to have a license at a bare minimum to get that job. So just goes to show you a license can enhance a person's life one way or another. I've always covered that. And I always want you to guys to understand that. That's the reason we tell you to share this video to um, groups, people that you know that may benefit from them. Tell them that to watch these tips because tips that we are providing here are life-changing tips when it comes to driving because we're giving you as much as, as much as we know that can be beneficial, not only for you, also for families and also for families and friends. If you are in the New York area, you want people driving. To help you with all your driving endeavor, make sure to, make sure make sure that you get prepared. So when you go for your work test, you know exactly what to do. Check out our website pierrepauldriving.com, or you can even give us a call because we're always willing and able to help you in the um, efficient and the perfect way ever for you to not only be able to drive your take your work test and pass, and also to be able to and also to be safe on the road because trust and believe. You know when the wheel lesson start. The wheel driving start the minute that you pass your word test, you're behind the steering wheel by yourself making decision. And trust and believe, the decision that you're making not gonna be often, not gonna be often time the right one to do. But that's the one you deem to be good at the moment. That's the decision that you make. Knowing um, no better about um, driving, it will always be better, 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 better for you. I wanted to share that with you guys. Until then, keep practicing. This has been here with Pierre Paul Driving School. Take care now. Bye bye.